Tonight, a wife shares the grief she faces after an accident changed her life. Hope Taylor's husband went to work on Monday, but he did not make it home. We've been following the workplace accident at Frerich Sawmill in Monroe County that claimed the life of her husband, Adam. WATE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant spoke with Taylor on the same day she spent time with her friends preparing her husband's grave. Perfect love and care and a heart of gold. He never met a stranger. Hope Taylor says her husband Adam spent most of his free time in his workshop, building everything from birdhouses to benches with their son Hunter. From the time he come home from work, Hunter would ask him, we got work to do. They come to the shop and they work to eight, nine o'clock at night, building birdhouses, building benches. Riding on the side by side, pulling trailers. It was just always Daddy Adam, Daddy Adam. Hope says Adam worked at the sawmill on and off for the past 20 years. She picked up a few shifts there recently, but quit about a week ago to take care of their family. You could tell the wall was going to fall at any time. Everybody that come in there knew it was a safety hazard. She said Adam told the owners several times the wall needed to be fixed. Now an investigation is taking place to determine what exactly happened. I don't want to see somebody else killed. I don't want to see some of them young kids that work over there hurt. Hope, with family and friends, is now preparing for Adam's funeral. They plan to bury him on their family property so she can visit him every day. Never take another for granted. Because you're not promised tomorrow. In Polk County, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. You can just feel the love yeah. in that family. Um, we did reach out to Frederick Sawmill for a statement. We have not heard back from them at this time.